This is just absolute nonsense. I don't know how we did this. It looks like we just wrecked a Sephora. <laughs> yeah, we just ruined everything. Hello friends, and welcome to another video. Today I'm here with Candace. Hey. And we're gonna be trying peel off eyeshadow. I feel like I heard of peel off eyeshadow. I've definitely seen some other YouTubers do videos, maybe not on this exact product, but on peel off eyeshadow in general. Basically, I ordered these peel off eyeshadow things from Color On Pro, and they send you basically like a packet full of eyeshadows. We're gonna try it out today, and then if all goes well, we're gonna try it out tomorrow as part of our routine to see how long it lasts. How much time do you usually spend on eyeshadow when you do it? Um, probably like five minutes. But you don't do it every day? No. I use very like neutral tones. Mm -hmm. I'm into that. Um, and a lot of like eyeliner. I don't do a lot of eyeshadow, but I love when I do it. Yeah. Sometimes if I feel like doing it, I'll put like a little bit of like my contour color, even just like in my mm -hmm. crease or like in the corner, just to kind of like add some definition for a true eyeshadow look. It takes me a little while because I am very, very nervous about being unblended. Right. So I will like, if these things work, it could save you a ton of time. Mm -hmm. I got two packs. I think one is more like neutrals mm -hmm. and these ones were like tropical. And it definitely does look a little bit like a PowerPoint presentation. Oh yeah, it does <laughs> look like 90s like word art. I'm gonna open my pack too, but it looks like Candace's pack of the tropicals are just more fun in general. <laughs> I am interested to see how long it stays on. They give you a few sets of the eyeshadow peel offs and then then like a little setting powder and a little baby brush. Okay, also my brush wasn't cut all the way. <laughs> Do you see that? It's like a little mustache. Yeah, he's kind of having a good time. Okay, I have Ibiza, Noche, and L. Ooh. Like 11? I don't really know. I think I might go for this purple and brown. I got like a, um, a Bulbasaur color. <laughs> a brown and teal color and a brown and sky blue color. Blastoise. They feel very nice. Blastoise. Oddish. <laughs> Maybe I'll try this like deep green. I'm not really a green eyeshadow type person, so we shall see. Is it wet? I don't know. Ooh, it's like goopy. It's like, uh, it feels like foundation kind of, like a really gummy foundation. So just put it above our eyelid. Wait, I'm nervous. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. I'm, I'm so nervous, I'm this so nervous. This wasn't good. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just putting on my makeup. All right, and then, then it says from the inside out peel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! Woo! I caramba. <laughs> it worked. It is way more intense than I thought it would be. Okay, so it says though to blend with your finger. Oh, it is blending actually very nicely. All right, so we're just gonna take our little bit of translucent powder. So I guess powder. this just makes, it mattifies. It's all falling into my eyelashes. I will say though, I'm looking at Sop's little workstation over here. <laughs> this is a lot messier than just applying eyeshadow. Yeah, right here. So I did something bad right here. It's just a little too brown. Like, I wish they were more purple, you know? Oh, 80s princess. You know? I, I want to change my course. You should do... Can I have that one? Okay, and then I'll, I'll try the blue. Mom spaghetti, Candace. Mm -hmm. Mine's like pretty stuck on. What? Give me all your pigment. All right. Okay. Oh. That's what happened to me. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know how you did that. I'm gonna try and fold this up and see if I can use this as a paintbrush kind of. I think this is one of those things like with all makeup is that it's like practice makes perfect. Yeah. Because you have to place it. It's like you got one shot. If you place it wrong, like, you're not having a good day. I think the mermaid color is the clear winner today. This is definitely very pigmented. It blended very well. I have like more of an oily lid. Mm. So it'll get like stuck in those creases. And I wonder if this would do that because it already has that kind of oiliness to it. This, I'm a little disappointed. I'm getting some crease already. Okay, so here is South Beach. And here is L. It's a poop eye. <laughs> I don't know if the, if it was me or if it was the stencil, but it like came on poop light. I think that this the bright colors come out well with these. They do. And the neutral colors can just come out a little muddy. So Candace is gonna take the black smoky eye, and I'm gonna take my uh, South Beach, which is this look, and we're gonna try and do this like as part of our like regular makeup routine and wear it for a full day and see if it lasts. I am very like pleasantly surprised with how. Well, it doesn't look like how it went smoothly, but it did go very smoothly. It could have been worse. Yes. Good morning, friends. So the one that I am going to put on is this one, South Beach. This is this is the real world. You know, the table in my living room, that's the studio. 
This is the bedroom where things get real. Oh, I just got some on my fingers. I put a little bit of primer potion on. Usually when I do my eyeshadow, I do it before any of like my face makeup. So now would be the time. So I'm putting it on. The problem a little bit is that the shape of the eyelid is not the same as my shape. Okay, wow, wait. That one's actually really pigmented. Maybe I just forgot how pigmented these were. It doesn't really get all the way to the end of my eye. It just gets kind of like to here. So I'm gonna just use a little brush and see if we can just kind of like manipulate it a little bit. So that's number one. All right, this is what the first one looks like. Um, it's a little gray to me, but I messed up and applied it too deep into my corner. But I'm gonna clean it up and blend it out and see what it looks like. Oh, getting a little sultry tonight. <laughs> Eye number two, putting the brown part at the bottom once more. Oh my God, it's coming off on its own. Peel it off from the inside out. Why do I feel like that one was worse? I was too busy trying to take thumbnail faces. Oh God. But. I do my eyeshadow before my foundation for a reason, so that's easily fixable. But it's actually better to take the paint off of this to fix your mistakes. I just set it using this Get Set powder where I just take the brush. I don't actually pronounce brush, brush. It just kind of started coming out. Like maybe I want some bruschetta. And hopefully this will keep it from creasing throughout the day. I'm gonna finish my makeup now and just try and clean up this little poop. Well, it looks like I just tried to kill the Grim Reaper here. Um, that's the problem is that I'm, it's all over my hands and it's so sticky, but uh, <laughs> I look good. Okay, so I'm done with my makeup. I actually have to run. I actually really do like the way the eyeshadow looks right now. We'll see in a couple hours how it turns out, but in my bedroom, it looked kind of like murpy and outside, like you can really see the blues. Once this stuff is on your face and doing its thing, it's acting pretty much like normal eyeshadow. So this is the final look. It's actually a little bluer than I thought. I thought it would be super dark black. I, I'm not positive this will stay on all day, but we'll see. We are a couple hours in and I think I'm doing pretty well. I am noticing though that this eye is bluer than this eye. What you really gonna do about that? So I've had the makeup on for like eight hours at this point and I honestly think that the rest of my makeup is doing worse than my eyeshadow. I've been snacking, so the butthole lip is out. My face is getting a little shiny. So, you know, honestly, the eyeshadow is really holding up quite well. I will say a couple things. I'm not naked, um, but I uh, was complimented today. People were like, you look so nice. Like, what did you do for your eye makeup? And I was like, it's a stamp. So it's been like 10 hours since I put on my eyeshadow and there is a tiny amount of pre but not much, barely noticeable. I was gonna say, when I first saw it tonight, I thought it looked pretty cute. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Uh, is that gonna be in the vlog? <laughs> I did get some creasing, if you can see, which was my main concern, but I think that's because I have an oily lid. That might be a personal problem. Autofocus, damn it. There you go. Honestly, the worst thing you can say about it is that it maybe has faded throughout the day. Like, I am actually incredibly impressed by the longevity of this eyeshadow. I came into this thinking that they might be quick to apply, but quick to fade. And they're actually a little bit more difficult to apply, or at least more time consuming to apply than one might think, but they last a freaking long time. I would say that I would maybe do this again. I am impressed by how long it lasts, and I would feel actually pretty comfortable wearing this pretty much anywhere. I didn't run a mile in it, but I did eat some spicy curry in it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and uh, also smash that subscribe button. While you're at it, if you can click that little bell in between, it'll turn on post notifications, you'll get a notification every time I post. Here are Candace's social media handles and Candace's YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe to her. She does a lot of cool, fun stuff about like fitness, healthy eating, also just like general nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> also just like, I'm trying. <laughs> Here are my social media handles. Check out my next feed. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. And um, I hope you guys have a great week. Apply responsibly. Once again, something that I would try at a slumber party for sure. And I wish I had this in like fifth grade. Yeah. Like, you guys have so many cool things now. Like I was just painting my face with like lead. <laughs> I was using lead and eating Lunchables.